Robots playing soccer? Maybe not. China's first World Humanoid Robot Games is just the latest in a series of events and programs aimed at promoting humanoid robot technology. The Chinese government is hosting this three-day event where humanoid athletes show off their skills in martial arts. The 400-meter race... Is it just me or does that guy look tired? And rounds in a soccer tournament. Guo Tong, who programmed one of the futuristic footballers, sees robots replacing his idol, Ronaldo. By when? 2050, he replies. Chinese Olympic boxer Li Yang trained this robot to fight in the ring. Robots are easier to coach, he says. Humans are emotional. Not only do the droids slug it out in sports, but at jobs, too as drugstore clerks, factory workers, and hotel housekeeping. The challenge is for the robot to pick up all the garbage that's in the room, but the referees tell us the biggest challenge for the robots is opening and closing the door. This isn't just fun in games. <laughs> Beijing has plans to build a world-class industry of humanoid robots by 2027. Designer Wang Shidong says the competition is key. Refining our robots, he says, everyone feels motivated to compete. As China attempts to rise up and win the worldwide humanoid robot race. And Morgan Stanley says that it expects the Chinese government to push for a broader adoption of humanoid robots by the end of this year, or in the end of this year, rather, in order. And in fact, they cited a surge of uh, large orders by state-owned companies for those humanoid robots.